hello everyone i hope everyone is doing very well so today our topic is how to plot uh, uh, 3d graph using matlab so you can see i have plotted uh, this graph uh, using matlab you can see temperature is on x axis similarly the moisture content on y axis and the hono emission is on z axis so you can check the relationship and that if temperature increases from 0 to 30 degrees celsius the hono emission is start increasing and uh, when it is temperature is maximum it is uh, hono emission is maximum uh, and uh, after 30 degrees celsius it remain uh, continuously as uh, same emission so on the other hand you can also check the moisture content on y-axis you can also check see that uh, when the moisture content is uh, uh, almost 0 0.3 uh, here its uh, emission is maximum and after 0 0.3 uh, going toward uh, uh, 0 0.5 and 6 and 100 percent of moisture content uh, its value is, uh, is decreasing and you can check uh, when the uh, maximum limits of moisture content for, for example at 0 degrees uh, uh, 0 percent and 100 percent mean fully saturated soil and fully dry soil uh, the emission is almost zero so how to plot uh, this type of graph uh, using the matlab is our uh, major topic of discussion today so for this purpose i am uh, uh, letting you toward my matlab uh, just open your matlabs and uh, click in your matlab and you can go to select any folder where you are uh, required where you want to work so for 3d graphs we need to prepare a mesh mesh grid uh, first before plotting uh, mesh grid i want to discuss uh, what is meant by mesh grid so actually the mesh grid is uh, x axis and y axis so uh, the uh, st before starting uh, plotting uh, z axis we need to prepare a mesh grid using x axis and uh, y axis okay so uh, our x axis is uh, temperature so i will write uh, as a t here t is equal to seconds so here we put our uh, initial range, initial value such as it is from zero and uh, say colon and uh, we will uh, add steps I mean from zero to thirty I am going to take one degree step so I will write it one and uh, we will add colon again and upper limit is our upper limit is thirty degree cells so just close it so it is our temperature and similarly for our uh, y-axis it is moisture content so moisture content is m so m is equal to you can take the here brackets and our initial range is zero and uh, up to one so from zero and i am taking as uh, steps so working step is 0 0.01 to make it more refined so upper limit is uh, one so it is 0 to 1 by uh, and the steps is 0 0.01 so all values between 0 to 0 1 with an accuracy of 0 0.01 will be uh, considered using this uh, uh, code so again now we are moving toward preparing a mesh grid for mesh grid we will uh, use uh, you can add a bracket for mesh grid uh, first value is uh, x axis a a and similarly for y axis we will take out b b we will close it and uh, place equal mark we will write as uh, mesh grid m e s h r i d mesh grid you can see mesh grid and again we will uh, add a bracket so in bracket we will first write as a t for our uh, uh, x axis and similarly m for our y axis so here it is almost done so you can also see x and y values in mesh grids so we will add semicolon at the end 
and uh, after that we will add our equation we can uh, depending upon your requirements or what what uh, what equation you are going to plot so i have my equation right here just add copy and paste my equation so emission is uh, similar to that okay and at the end we are just going to use figure for figure f is small figure okay figure and uh, surface graph for surf and uh, uh, we will plot uh, uh, right for, uh, characteristics of mass grid. You can see here A, A and B, B, A, A, comma B, B. So again, third one is our emission. Our equation is uh, I have typed here. So is emission. So emission. Okay. So I have almost done it. So I will close this again. So going a little bit downward, um, we will add shading. Let's see how will it work. We will just plot it. The code is start running. You can see, and every value of mercy uh, content is taking. So it's all done. So let's see how does our figure look so you can see uh, the values are already plotted here uh, that look nice but if we want to remove these lines so over here uh, the black black line so we can again go to our codes what's happening okay so this is our code so we will write so shading shading is in int yeah, interrupt okay so shading interrupt again run let's see how will it work doing it again okay it's all right better so you can see our rows are lines are removed so now we are going to uh, name x axis y axis and z axis in this chart so, okay for x axis we will type uh, x label bracket and uh, add uh, temperature temperature and in brackets it's in degree Celsius so I will add uh, C and bracket close so we need to add this one here so it's already done okay similarly for y labels y L A L by label on bracket and this one my label is our most second so I will type as most content so it's done so just like this one so we need to add this uh, here like this this one is similar for Z label you can add Z label it's this one then Z label we have to write uh, nanogram uh, of uh, nitrogen per meter square and uh, uh, if you want to add power you will uh, use uh, this symbol and minus again the symbol for other power so it's a 2 so it, it will show as minus 2 similarly per meter square and uh, per second so I will add second again the upper uh, power symbol so minus and uh, we need to again use the power symbol for one so i will close it and i will close the brackets so like this one so let's run it looks if i hope it will work let's start running so you can see temperature here moisture content here and nanogram of nitrogen per meter square per second here if you modify want to modify and uh, this code so you can just type uh, 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 on emission as I did oh, no. emissions and brackets and so right now it will look different so you can see that's in it's you know it is displaced here and 
on emission here so temperature on x-axis must have on turn on y-axis and of emission on the axis so thanks for watching my video i hope it will help you in doing your uh, making your graphs please uh, subscribe to my channel for further similar videos thanks again